I wanted to talk to the leader of the Saints. I wanted some freckled bitches and a blowjob, but I've learned to deal with disappointment. What you need from the Saints? I need protection. That's probably one of those things you should have thought of before you tried to have the boss killed in a church. I had nothing to do with that. You really need to separate the man from the company. I'm just saying. Attempted murder doesn't breed trust. We're on the same side. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's pretty fucking unlikely. Look, Dex's people are on their way. If I don't get out of here soon, the Masako are gonna kill me. Dex? Any part of the Oltar family? Families fight. Yeah, but they don't try to kill each other. Tell that to Julius. You got something on Dex or not? You get me through this alive and you'll find out. How was your weekend, Derek? Busy. Yours? Disappointing. Get used to it. I'm surprised you didn't call in sick. Well, I figure you can't kill me at the office. I'm head of security. I can do whatever I want. You're out of your league, Dex. No. You're just out of touch. Maybe. See you at the exec meeting. Wait, wait. Explain this one more time. I thought I made myself quite clear. No, you did. I just want to make sure it still sounds crazy the second time around. I thought you wanted to hurt Dex. My mistake. Yeah, hurt Dex, not fight a goddamn army. You'll have help. From who? A bunch of Ultor Renicops? They're not gonna shoot their own. That's what you're not getting. They're not our own. Dex has been moving waste from the nuke plant that he can sell in the black market, and now he's planning on using the Masako to destroy the evidence. If Ultor finds out what he's doing, Dex is finished. Please, Ultor wouldn't care. I've heard stories about what happens in the Pyramid. There's a difference between science and war profiteering. If we were into nuclear weapons, we'd be selling to countries with a real economy. Not some nut job that lives in a compound. That's encouraging. Dex wants to make his move tonight. Together we can stop him. I'm in. Is everything in order, Katie? Yes, sir. Your effects are en route. And my office? I followed protocol. Your machine's been wiped and paper files have been shredded. Are you sure you can't wait a few days? You're going to miss the company picnic. I can, I'm sorry. This transfer is a big opportunity for me. I need to leave tonight. With respect, sir, you had me call in every favor you had to get an immediate transfer. It doesn't look like this is a step up for you. And what does it look like? Honestly, like you're running. You're a smart girl. The fuck you mean he's gone? Dex left town last night. He requested an emergency transfer. This is bullshit, Griffin. There was nothing I could do. I swear to God, if I find out you helped him... I didn't. Then make it right. How? He knows you're trying to kill him. There's no way he's coming back. Fine. I can't get Dex. You're gonna help me get his people. His people? His friends. His soldiers. His fucking favorite street magician. If it's someone Dex cared about, I want him dead. I think I have an idea. You think they're gonna come down on you for this? Maybe. It isn't your problem anymore, right? Yeah, I don't give a shit. I was just being polite. Yeah, thanks for faking it. Anytime. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna find out which city Dex ran to and get the bitch. The Stillwater branch won't have any more unpleasantness with the Saints, will we? Hey, as long as you don't come after me and mine, you can go to Mars for all I care. took you so long? You ain't Dex. Neither are you. You look different, did you? I didn't do shit to my hair. You pulling a gun on me? Well, I didn't have time to plant a bomb in a church, so this'll have to do. You don't know what the hell you talking about. Why don't you educate me? I don't gotta explain shit to you. This is where we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Why don't you just put the gun down? We both know you're not gonna use it. Not yet. Stop! I never thought I'd see you beg, Julius. I'm not begging. I'm trying to talk some sense into you. I'm done listening to your bullshit. Put it together. Dex wanted us in the same place. Yeah, and why'd he want that? Can we kill each other later? Just like old times, player. Yeah. Jesus. I thought we were past this. Shit. 
Not by a fucking long shot. Don't you get it? The Saints didn't solve a goddamn thing. Drugs were still being pushed. Innocent people were still getting killed. All we did was turn into vice kings that wore purple. Jesus Christ, you sound like a pussy. I sound like someone who's not a sociopath. You want to be the killer with a conscience? Fine. Drop your flags and write a book like King. But you never should have came after me. You telling me, if I would have asked you to walk away, you would have said yes. Fuck no, this is my city. Jesus, you haven't learned a goddamn thing. Wrong. I've learned that being in charge is better than being a bitch who keeps her mouth shut and does what she's told. Your time's over, old man. What's happened to you? I woke up. You owe me, player. If it wasn't for me, you would have died on that street corner. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been in a goddamn coma. But I guess that makes us even... Not really. As many of you know, the restoration of Saints Row is a tremendous success, but that was just the beginning of what Old Tor has in mind for Stillwater. This is Shivington. Once a pristine set of tenement homes, this neighborhood has devolved into a dangerous ghetto filled with undesirables such as these. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, ugly buildings, unwashed masses, what the hell is Old Tor thinking? My friends, we are thinking about the future. Picture this, glass towers, clean streets, and no one below the poverty line trying to wash your car. Impossible? For a lesser company, maybe. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. <laughs> no, I'm here to show you how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, before we can remodel Shivington, we need to own the land. So how do we do that? By directing the gangs towards Sunnyvale. Not only are we lowering the number of our detractors, we are lowering the property value as well, which means when we buy the land, the savings get passed on to you, the stockholders. The gangs cripple each other. We direct funds to the Stillwater Police Department. They increase police presence, and pretty soon, all those nasty little gangbangers are gone. Crime stops, property value goes up, and now your population looks like this. I liked Ultor a lot more when they just made clothes. What you do to piss these guys off? Fuck if I know. Yo, I signed on for killing gangbangers, not fighting some SWAT team from hell. Don't worry about it, Pierce. We'll take care of it. The fuck you mean don't worry about it? These guys are packing space age shit. Hey, Shondi, you date anyone who worked at a place called the Pyramid? No. For real? All right. You two find out whatever you can about this place. I want to take these assholes apart. Is this the pyramid? Yeah. Altor's built a huge R&D facility underneath Mount Claflin. Let me guess. They aren't developing a better bread box. Honestly, they probably are. They're just, you know, developing guns and body armor, too. Why is Altor gunning for us? It doesn't matter. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shondi, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Altor property as you can. If Altor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. Well, we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We can do some damage street side, but we gotta be quick. 
I don't want to give Altor any more of a heads up than we have to. Dane, while your project has been yielding positive results, the board is a little concerned. I don't understand. The Saints are out of control. That was the point. When you budgeted funds for Force Majeure, we didn't realize compromising the Pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? The Pyramid was not going to last forever. It's better to spin this now when we are the victims than when Channel 6 does an undercover expose. Dane, fix the problem. Okay, maybe I'm being too obtuse. Let me try this again. There is no problem. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. Finish off the Saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. Is that all? Take care of this, Dane. Of course I will. What's this? Don't know. I found it here and it was addressed to you. Looking to crash your party? Thinking about it. Well, your history with boats is pretty solid, so, uh, this seems like a good idea. I think I'm gonna go find Sean. Good idea. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep. Oh, that's all right, Jamie. I think I'm gonna skip it this year. Oh, and Jamie? Yes, sir? Please move my things to my new office and set up a press conference. You were promoted, Mr. Vogel? I'm about to be. You in position, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Just make sure I get to Vogel. As most of you know, the Old Tour board of directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Old Tour would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly, that's a luxury we don't have. The corporate office has named me chairman, and I wanted to personally let you all know, not only will business continue as usual, but we will be taking even greater strides forward. Monica Hughes, has graciously greenlit a project that's very dear to us at Old Tour, the revitalization of Shivington. In the coming days... Mr. Vogel, come with us. 